this farm is a very typical farm for the broiler industry throughout the entire United States. Four chicken houses managed by a husband and wife. It's the family farm that everybody thinks we should go back to, but we're, we've always been this way in the broiler industry. It's always been small family farms. A lot of people get confused uh, over the fact that we have chickens that are raised to produce eggs, so the eggs that you see in the grocery store, that's an entirely different type of chicken, whereas the chickens that are raised for meat production that you see on the grocery store shelves, the chicken breasts or the chicken that you buy at KFC, those birds are raised on the ground. I want to be a poultry veterinarian because it gives me the opportunity to work in food production. I feel a big responsibility with regard to feeding America, feeding the people, uh, making sure that our food supply is safe. We're going to this farm to uh, evaluate the health of these broilers. We don't expect to see any health issues. We'll take a look at the farm, uh, evaluate it from sort of a, a bird's eye view, no pun intended, and then you know, we'll look at the birds individually and see if we see any signs of disease. There's about 25,000 birds in each one of these houses. Broilers are the meat chickens. Broiler chickens are not raised in cages. They have plenty of space. They have unlimited access to food and water. So a lot of the misconceptions that these activist groups will utilize aren't true. So we want to feel the crop to see if they've been eating is their food or their water. This bird is probably about to go eat. This one too. Um, you know, the eye looks very good on this bird, nice and round. We'll flip him over kind of gently to evaluate the fleshing and the development of the breast muscle. Um, this one appears to be fleshed fairly well, so it seems like he's getting good meals every day. In a lot of regards, they're taken care of better than some humans. They live in better conditions. I mean, it's temperature controlled, humidity controlled. We control the um, quality of the air. If we can see that they're nice and evenly spread out, if they were cold, they would be huddled in little clusters. The broiler chickens and turkeys in the United States, they're treated quite humanely. And I think the activist groups take advantage of the naivety of the consumers to make them think that these animals are being abused. I don't believe there's any justification in paying three times the amount of money for chicken from an organic producer. It comes down to a personal choice. If they believe that chickens are being inhumanely treated, then maybe that, that comes on down on us. Maybe that's a shortcoming on our part in not properly educating the public on where their food is coming from because I believe the chickens are humanely treated.